Hello! Here we review new movies and today we are talking about Monkey Man. It's an action thriller revenge tale. The story follows a nameless young hero taking on the corrupt officials that murdered his mother and burned his homeland. Dev Patel, Paul Angunawella, and John Coley wrote the screenplay and Dev Patel directed the film and stars as The Kid alongside Pitobash as Alphonse, Sikander Kerr as Rana Singh, and Sobita Dulapala as Sita. If you're new here, the way things work is that we cover the positives first, then the negatives, and finally I give you a few personal thoughts and a rating. Okay. The story is a simple revenge tale with a lot of flavor in it. It ramps up in intensity as you go and is filled with lots of impressive action, some great music, and a solid cast. The pacing is fairly consistent across the film with action every 10 minutes or so, and constant progression of the story. They never sit still for too long, but manage to pack in a ton of information in a short period. They did a good job of introducing the characters and the premise and setting up for the big finale. When they got there, it was exciting and filled with a lot of cathartic moments of the villains getting their comeuppance. The supporting cast was fairly small, with most of them being split into two groups. Poor people of the slums and the criminal elite. Those in the criminal elite category tend to be much more vile and violent, while the poor tend to be average people going about their daily lives. They did a great job of creating a large contrast between the high life of criminals and those at the bottom of society. The characters were a bit stereotypical, but it works well for the purposes of the film. Dev Patel was especially good in his role as the kid. He's playing a haunted young man who struggles to contain his anger. Patel nails the character's rage and wrath while still being sympathetic. The way he accepts others and shows genuine concern for the people around him makes his violence go down much easier. The visual journey is mostly clean, easy to follow, and filled with neat locations that make for beautiful looking fights like a backwater illegal fight ring, a high-end club with crazy lighting, and even an extravagant penthouse bathroom. They never missed with their locations, each bringing a highly dynamic environment and a lot of beautiful action. The action was really well done most of the time. There were a few shaky moments, but they managed to pull off impressive one-shot sequences, a few awesome chase scenes, and some really satisfying kills. Watching the kid take on an army of henchmen was a high-octane experience that never disappointed. Even better was when his reinforcements arrived. They turned it into an all-out war scene and there was a few great joke moments introduced that I personally loved. Like when they're going down the line of fighters and looking at their weapons. It goes sword, knife, hammer, old-timey sticks of dynamite. I nearly blew a gasket in the theater. Behind the great action is an even more awesome soundtrack. It's filled with original songs of a variety of genres like rock and roll, rap, blues, classical, etc., and a number of instrumentals. There's even a few traditional Indian performances from a temple drummer playing the tabla. The music adds a lot of flavor to each individual scene and acts as a shorthand for the storytelling. One of my favorite moments was when the kid sees Sita in the club working with a client and then suddenly Roxanne starts playing. It gave me Moulin Rouge vibes, reminding me a lot of Christian's ballad to Satine. Alright. Now that we've been through the good parts of the film, we should address the problems too. While Monkey Man is a solid action film, it also lacks character development outside of the kit. The villains, for example, are quite bland. They're like henchmen with a slightly more unique look. Watching them die is just about the only interesting thing they do in the film. Alongside the poor character development, the story also diverges from reality quite a few times and becomes pure fantasy by the end. The kid suffers massive injuries and keeps trucking on like nothing's wrong while dealing with hordes of people. And I mean literal hordes, too. There's an endless supply of cops and henchmen in this city who are ready and willing to pop up and duke it out with the kid. Sometimes for no reason at all. It's like watching 40 clowns get out of a mini. There's also quite a few shaky b-roll shots edited into the film that detract quite a bit from the visual experience. A lot of it is of random buildings, streets, and animals, and they don't add anything to the story. Finally, Monkey Man is quite generic and not trying anything new. It's just another revenge tale with simple motivations and characters. If you're not into the action and the atmosphere, you probably won't get much out of the film. For me personally, this film reminded me a lot of Silent Night. It's simple, straight to the point, and it plays on strong emotions. They didn't get bogged down in a romance storyline or with his friendships, which I thought was great, but they also didn't develop the villains, which was a missed opportunity. The visual journey had some great chases and fights in it, especially towards the end. It was a lot of fun to watch, and I was constantly grooving out to the music too. As for a rating, I'd give this film a 7 out of 10. Remember, these are just my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye-bye!